Hey, welcome back guys, this is Crafty Fox, and today we're going to be building Rosie from Thomas and Friends. So she is a tank engine on the island of Sodor, and this is in the red livery, uh, before she was painted lavender and white, which I always thought was a really weird color to color a locomotive. Um, so I think the red looks a lot better, and this is actually what she looks like uh, right now. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the build, and let's get started. So, first thing I want to do... You want to take um, red concrete and let's place that three blocks above the tracks. Two, three. And then we're going to add a piston on either side. Put a lever in the middle, pull that down. And we're going to add red concrete outsides. And the middle, we're going to take gray concrete. And let's make it so it's 19 blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Let's go back to the front. And then in the front, uh, we're going to add some more gray concrete. And let's make it so it is approximately like a 3 by 3 in the front. And then on the sides, we're going to add acacia wooden slab with two red concretes. And let's add the same thing on the other side. Then we're going to take acacia wood slab, add it on the front red concrete. And the bottom, let's add um, acacia wood stairs. Two of them like that, and another two, so it's like back to back. Same thing on the other side. So this is the cylinder. And then we could go um, to the back, and let's add in the pistons right over there. So let's take. Right concrete, place that in the middle, pistons on the sides, and lever in the middle, pull that down, red concrete on the sides, and then we're going to add a three or, yeah, three block tall, uh, five block wide red concrete, like this in the back, and this is, I guess, um, <laughs> what do you call it, the coal bunker? And then on the sides, we're going to add acacia wooden stairs facing outwards. And a 2x3 of red concrete in the back. Then um, down below, we're going to add another brick fence right above this piston. And diagonal to that is the lantern, which is a uh, quartz block diagonal to this in the middle. A redstone torch uh, sticking out for the light. And another quartz slab on top. Alright, so then we're going to go um, diagonally towards the front. In the back of the cab, we're going to add three blocks wide, red concrete. Then white stained glass block on the sides. And then uh, red concrete all the way underneath uh, the glass. So that it reaches just right above where the piston is. Same thing on the other side. Like so. And then we're going to take out acacia wooden slab, add five blocks wide in the middle like this. Then we're going to uh, go forward and add like a donut shape with the acacia wooden slabs, just a slab taller. In the middle we're going to add another brick slab like so. Then the sides we're going to take three um, red concrete blocks, one, two, three, one, two, three and white stained glass block in the front and red concrete in the middle and uh, in front of that we're going to add the whistle which is a uh, birch fence then we're going to take out black carpet and just pretty much fill in all the top of the cab roof including the back part and also on top of the coal bunker as well just fill that in like so all right, so let's go back to the front and add another brick fence right above this piston. And let's add a two by five of light gray carpet on the front. And now let's start to make uh, the front. So we're gonna take um, black wool and let's make it a two by three, like so. And then we're going to make it so that it is, um, let's make it four blocks tall, so one, two, three, four. Fill that all in. And I know there's someone invisible there because I see, like, the potion effects. 
Anyways, and then we're going to add two black walls in the middle, like so. Then we're going to take um, another brick stairs. And let's have it uh, on the sides on top. Take black wool and add two towards the back on top. And I'm going to like destroy this person, whoever is there. Let's find out. All right, it's Leaf. There, I need to kill Leaf. All right, there it is. All right, next we're going to place polished andesite in the front for the lantern, an item frame, and a white stained glass pane inside. Then we're going to make the face using uh, quartz. We're going to make a plus sign and add quartz stairs on the corners, like so. All right, then we're going to make like this little <laughs> bar that attaches. Um, let's see how to do it. We're going to have an upside down nether brick stairs facing inwards with a nether brick stairs facing outwards on top. Like so. All right, so next let's add in the wheels. So there's going to be six driving wheels. So let's do this. How are we going to do this, man? Uh, let's add in the middle first. So let's go right after the cylinder part. We're going to make a uh, gray concrete in the middle. So it goes one block down and we're going to extend it a fair ways back. Let's extend it so it's like 10 more blocks or 10 blocks in total. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then let's add uh, let's three more to that. So 13, one, two, three. All right, that looks good. Let me go check. All right, so all right, so let's add in the wheels. So we're gonna go to the cylinder, skip a block, and add a plus sign using red wool like this. And then we're gonna skip a block, add another plus sign, and skip another block, add another plus sign, so that there is gonna be six wheels in total. If we do the other side as well, then after this we're gonna take a stone brick stairs. And we're going to add it in the corners, like this. All of them <laughs> like this. It reminds me a lot of Elmo for some reason, because it's like red. Red wool. To the front. And then the other side, same exact thing. All right. Then the bottom part. That's the part where I hate it the most. All right, so we are done. Now we can add in um, the side rods. So we're gonna add a double stone slab on top, um, <laughs> right behind the cylinder, and then we're gonna add three slabs behind it. Then next we're gonna add a slab and then two double stone slabs after it, and then a double stone slab in the front middle of the rest of the wheels like this. Then we're going to connect them all together at the bottom. So it looks like this. And that's pretty much it for the design. Do the same thing on the other side. Double stone slab and then three more slabs. Then single stone slab, double, two doubles, and then add double in the front of the wheels and then connect them together like so. All right, so next we're going to add in the stone buttons in between the driving wheels like this for a little more detail. All right, and next let's add in whatever is under here. This appears to be black wool, so yeah, I guess we're going to add black wool three blocks wide. And let's make it go all the way to the back wheel right above the back wheel like so. All right, and actually we're gonna replace uh, these three black walls with gray concrete. Let's make it go all the way to the back like this. Just fill that in three blocks wide. And then on the sides we need this like yellow bar, I guess. And this is gonna be uh, stripe stripped jungle wood. So it's first time I'm using it, and it's a good color for it, so let's do that. Um, it goes right above that double stone slab, and we're going to go um, all the way to the last wheel. Like that. Same thing on the other side. 
all the way to the last wheel. And then we're going to add an oak wood slab, two of them like that. So one's on top of the other. So it goes down diagonally, and then another stripped um, jungle wood. And that's going to be two blocks long or two blocks tall. And then we're going to skip a block, add another two like that. And uh, I want to make sure that's like facing the same direction, <laughs> or else it'll look weird like that. Right, same thing over here. Just two jungle woods. So this is like the step up to the cab, and let's add a. I believe this is oak wood trap door, three blocks wide, and two uh, acacia wooden stairs on the inside part, with a red carpet on top. And I want to make sure that they're both facing up. Red carpet on top. Same thing on the other side. Acacia wooden stairs, red carpet, and oak wood trap doors at the bottom. And right over here, let's add three uh, red concrete blocks. And then I'm going to take uh, white stained glass paint, add two on the sides for both sides. And this is going to be uh, the handlebars to get into the cab. And next step, let's add in the cab windows on the side. So that's going to be white stained glass block, two blocks tall, and then quartz. And then white stained glass block, same thing on the other side. Then we're going to take out um, a different color red. So this is red terracotta. And uh, we're going to go, let's make a, a line all the way down from the front of the cab, like so. And then we're going to take red concrete. And let's go to the back of the front of the face and go all the way and pretty much match up where uh, the front of the cab is. Then we're going to add red concrete all the way on the sides of the front of the cab. <laughs> what am I even saying? The front of the front of the cab. Whatever that wall is called. And then we're going to take um, acacia wooden stairs at the sides, top of the boiler. Same thing on the other side. And then we're going to add in our steam domes. And I believe like uh, sometimes they put sand in this as well. So we're going to skip two blocks. Add red concrete. Skip one. Add two red concrete. Skip one. Add one red concrete. Add acacia wooden slabs above all of them. Like so. Then we're going to take out uh, red concrete. Let's add two blocks in the front, two blocks tall. Then we're going to add two red concretes in the middle, like this. Then on the side, we're going to add acacia wooden stairs with a wooden slab um, in the front of it. Same thing on the other side. Then we're going to add red terracotta, add two blocks right behind that stairs. And then add red carpet on top, same thing on the other side. And next, we're going to go diagonally up, add acacia wooden slabs all the way across to the front of the cab. Same thing on the other side. And then we're going to add um, a row across using red terracotta on top and the bottom. And the middle, it's going to have some initials. I'm not sure what it quite stands for, but there are some letters. So we're going to take out um, quartz and go right over here, skip one block, add one, skip two, add one, skip two, add one. And pretty much fill in the rest with uh, red terracotta. Same thing on the other side. just. Skip one, add quartz, skip two, add quartz, skip two, add quartz, and red terracotta for the rest. And in the back, let's add in red terracotta on top. And down below, we're going to add a single quartz with red terracotta on the back of that. Same thing on the other side. And this is where the number is. And it's at the front, like so. So yeah, that's pretty much it on how to build Rosie from Tom's Friends in the red 
livery and if you want to make it um, lavender I guess you can use purple and a quartz block for that but anyways guys I hope you guys like the video and if you do remember to hit that like button down below because it helps grow the channel and subscribe if you haven't already because I will be uploading more videos like this in the future and I'll see you guys next time bye